Finally watched that shit. That shit was you good. Fi- you finally watched uh, everything everywhere. Yes. All, what, all, what do you rate it? Once? What do you rate it? Okay. I think out of all the the films that a a a twenty four a twenty four did, that was probably top three. Top three? Yeah. Oh, me, okay. I me. watch a lot though. I yeah. watch a lot. No, but I feel I feel like it's just because we're so deep into that topic. That's why it's like the, the multiverse. Whole time, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why the whole time I was like a little kid. I was like, yo, mm. yo. Did you did you see the the Mandela effect theory though? About what, it, like in it. Mandela effect. So in everything, everywhere, all at once, right? Yeah. So you know the Ratatouille scene? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did, yeah. So so did you bag that though? Not, so, not at first. Spoiler. But yeah. anyways, you know how she's like, you know, Raccoonui. Yep. Raccoonui. So that was actually that was actually a play on a Mandela effect, bro. Oh, so it was like, oh, Ratatouille does exist or something? No. What do you so mean? So the the mom thought it was a raccoon. Oh, not yeah. a rat. Oh, yeah. So that was that was their play on Mandela Effect. They didn't uh, say it blatantly obvious, but that's that's their play on they it. They made it. That's funny how they had Mandela Effects on there too. Yeah, because it's it's all connected. Yeah, yeah. Did, 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 you, did you notice the the symbolism of the bagel and everything? Yeah, obviously everything's oh, on did? it. It's everything bagel. No, no, but there's a different meaning. Like there's what? A different meaning. So you know how a bagel is black with the white inside. Yeah. Right. So that means that that symbolizes like the. What do you call this? The meaningless meaninglessness of life. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like like the black around and the white in the middle, the white hole in the middle. Yeah. It's very like meaningless. Right? Mm-hmm. And then who who had that that symbolism? The the main villain. Yeah. It was on her head. The black with the white inside. Mm. And if you notice the the main characters, main symbolism was the googly eye. Oh yeah, yeah. Because the Google eye can see. No, but what's the googly eye? The invers the inverted way of the, the bagel. So it's the white on the outside oh. and the black on the inside. Oh, because if you look at the eye, yeah, yeah, you're right. Exactly. So, so it's a reverse. That's what it's I'm an saying. inverse eye. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So the the bagel represents uh the yin. Yeah. And, and the eye represents the yang. Oh, cause cause she's looking at different ways. Yeah. Because even though they're looking at everything, mm-hmm. the one way you can look at the eye is to see, but yeah. the other way, the inverse, is to to not, to not look. See. To yeah. not look. Exactly. Yo, exactly. Oh, that's crazy. Did you call it that? Yeah. That's kind of crazy. What the I fuck? know. You thought you thought you were gonna have it, huh? Yeah. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> now, but that that whole movie, it's it's a very woke movie, and yeah. I, f- I feel like when we see things like this happen, mm-hmm. we're gonna see more and more things inspired by yeah. it. Right? I f- yeah, I feel like definitely there's gonna be another like a lot of multiverse movies have came up have come up. Yeah, so I feel like they're just gonna go crazy with it. I think, I think th- this is like a whole generation just woke man. Yeah, so. <laughs> I know. So th- that's 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 smart on their end. They're putting out woke movies. Yeah, you know. Do you think that's on purpose? Do yeah. you think Do you think certain things are put out to like, like nudge to us, push the agenda to nudge us like yo, like they might be doing this stuff. Mm, I don't know. What do you think? I think, bro. Yeah. Cuz look, look. Why why do we always hear about certain things happening in the world and then a movie that kind of coincides it? Weirdly, right? Yeah, low key. Weirdly. No, especially with All of Us Are Dead, fam. Well, when the when Which the, one? the zombies came out and yeah. we were talking about zombies, as soon as that movie came out or like coronavirus was popping, yeah. they put a movie, a zombie movie. Oh, that's true. So I was like, "Oh, is the vaccine going to turn into like boom 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 the side effects zombies?" Yeah, and yo, even Squid Game. Yeah. So you can look at Squid Game as a theory too, mm-hmm. where what if because of the times and yep. because of like the political climate of yep. the world? <laughs> oh my goodness! You know what I mean? They put that movie out, or I mean, they put that show out to mm-hmm. kind of nudge us to 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 know about these ideas. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Because they are ideas. There are yeah. like different ways of thinking, and I think once we once that's in our face, we start to think for ourselves. I know. Fuck, it's, it's low-key, like, the, all the Asian films. They know something, bro. Yeah. They know something. The Asian, what do you mean? Like, like it's always it's always the, the Asian, like, movie writers mm-hmm. who always, like, I guess, look at what's happening right now, and then they write a story about it or some oh, shit like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's yeah. always perfect timing with them. You know, like, um, because you were talking about Pinoy Big Brother before, right? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no way there's a theory about that shit. <laughs> no, no, no. There's not a theory. Yeah, we but, wanted to jump that <laughs> No, but Big Brother in general, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what Big Brother actually is? What is it? 
You never heard of that term, Big Brother? Big Brother? Because I feel like everybody knows the name of the show and the name of like the concept of the game show. Yeah. But nobody really knows the con the concept or the term of Big Brother itself. What, is he like God or something? Like, because no. he's kind of talking to you weird. Nah, nah. What is he? So in 19... It was like in the 80s, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I think it was even before then. Okay. There's this book called 1984 okay. by George Orwell. Right? Okay. What is it Now, 1984 didn't happen yet. He wrote this book, I think, I think right after the war. Yeah. So this is, this is before 1980. He's predicting the future. Oh, shit. Right? So in his predictions, yeah. he said there's going to be this, almost like this government, this big brother yeah. that watches us and knows everything we say oh that's kind of weird yeah yeah so that term big brother comes yeah. from that like watching over you looking over you mm -hmm. and they use that term in the show because the whole game show they, they can see all of their movements oh. they can see like behind the screen um yeah. conversations or whatever right and he kind of plays into like the the what do you call this though the puppet the puppet yeah guy? he's like a puppet master like, yeah exactly. exactly yeah 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 so oh. what's even crazier in big brother bro yeah. is we start to see certain predictions in the oh, book yeah. that we see in today fam like oh, yeah for example a uh, devices that can listen in on our <laughs> conversations Oh yeah, right? Siri. And one of the craziest ones, bro, uh -huh. was um, you couldn't have free thought. Really? Yeah. There's this thing called um, the thought police. Thought what? <laughs> the thought police? <laughs> different thought the though. Thought different police. thought. Yeah, yeah. So the thought police in the book mm -hmm. are pretty much these people that they barge into your home and they kind of like uh, investigate whether you have your own ideas on things. Okay. So they look at your room and your room's supposed to be super blank. It's not supposed to have anything there except mm -hmm. for a poster of Big Brother himself. Okay. Like the the leader or whatever, yeah, yeah. right? And bro, so if you have any... So in the book, mm -hmm. this guy, he goes and he has ideas for himself and he wants to fight against the government and shit, right? Yeah. I don't want to spoil it. Just spoil it, fam. I'm not going to bother. You're not going to read it? You're not going to read it? So he ends up getting caught. Okay. He ends up getting caught and when he gets caught fam yeah they they put him into this room and they torture him okay they torture him and torture him they put brain waves on his brain oh and fucking goodness. microwave his brain oh so that he goodness. comes out a changed man holy and smokes. in a sense he's like brainwashed and a new person yeah so this guy was predicting everything he was no he was like oh you mean the author yeah the author yo you know what's crazy about the author what too? happened there's like claims, man. There's claims that he was being watched and shit. Yeah. Well, why do you think? Why do you think they they want to target all the people that try to predict or like say all this this stuff coming out? Because maybe there is an agenda, fam. Maybe because if there is an agenda yeah. and there's people that have power to yeah move puzzle pieces together. Well, what's kind of a crazy story is like, oh, if if you even predict something that that you didn't even mean to predict, yeah. And now you're on a hit list. That's kind of crazy, though. I know. Yo, do you hear that book that that predicted like Elon Musk and going to Mars? Elon, no, there's another book on that. Yeah, there's a book. Holy smokes! There's a book that said, um, shit. I think it was like his name. Fuck, it's a super old book. Yeah. And then there was a there's a there's a line in the book. I'm gonna search it up later okay, so okay. you can add the picture. Yeah. But the line in the book said there will be a man to save us and bring us to the stars, and his name is Elon. What? Yeah, yeah. I swear. <laughs> I swear. Oh, and this is smokes. way before this is way before Tesla, Elon Musk, yeah. all that shit. Oh my god. Th this book was written like long ass time ago. Fam. Yeah, yeah. Predicted the future. To bring us to Mars, bro. Yeah, a time traveler, fam. There there was a there was a story. I don't know. It's probably one of the biggest conspiracy theories. Yeah. The, have you heard about the, the man from Toward? I said this. <laughs> you did oh. <laughs> I, said this. I told this. Are you that I told, ass? Yeah, I told this. That's crazy. <laughs> no, but the story was crazy. Like, where is Toward? Torrid. It's Torrid. Oh, Torrid? Yeah, this, this this place called Torrid. So the people that don't know the story, yeah. it's pretty much um this man that showed up to the at a what do you call it? At an airport. Airport, no border control. Yeah, it was it, like it was in the fifties. Yeah, and he took his passport and was like, yo, I'm trying to get to here to here. Yeah. And the police were like, Where the fuck is Torrid? Right? So Torrid is Torrid. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then they took him up. They took him up uh to the the hotel. Yeah. And then he randomly vanished. Yeah, he vanished. Which was what the heck? No, he vanished and he was supposed to go to this hotel. Yeah. But this hotel didn't exist. Mm. Like they called up the number like, hello? Yeah. Is, we're supposed to have somebody that comes here. And like, mm. like, there's no hotel. This is a different building. Yeah. It was an office. It wasn't even a hotel, bro. Yeah, I know. 
but but on a lower scale then if we were because uh since that theory didn't work yeah you know that um in disney you know how they always predict they always predict like uh what do you call this they also like easter eggs in their movies yeah yeah so do you know before any movie is put out in disney Mm -hmm. they always tease it in other movies before oh yeah i noticed that i noticed that yeah yeah do you know the big one about nemo yeah yeah so in in monsters inc in monsters inc oh my god yeah 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 i seen that i seen that live actually yeah, i seen so, that live really so yeah, you yeah, noticed yeah. that but but did you know also know in brother bear and brother bear and yeah and brother bear when they were catching the like the fish the, mm. the both the bears they caught a nemo they caught a nemo for and, real yeah, yeah so in, in the if you went slow-mo like one of the fish is a clownfish. no way yeah what <laughs> yeah and brother bear yeah yeah what the fuck i know in cars i think um, there was a toy car in Toy Story. Yeah, yeah and it looked like that's an easy McQueen. one. Yeah, yeah and yeah. also in the M- Monsters Inc., uh, Boo had a, a Nemo clownfish, and she gave it to Sully. Wait, what? Yeah, you didn't know this, that Nemo clownfish. Yeah, so she had a, when when they were going through like all the doors. Yeah, and she was saying bye to Sully. She gave him a Nemo clownfish, oh, like a toy. Yeah, toy. Oh, fuck. and that was like two years before Nemo came out. Okay, did did we look at um what's that what's a recent one? What's the recent one? Um um red? What's it called? Oh, turning red. Yeah, we turning did. Turning red. Yeah, we did. About is the it, periods? Is, yeah, is, no, is there any is there any Oh. Is there any predictions? Oh, I didn't. Cuz even like the people in the background that look like us. <laughs> You know, people say I look like Bruno from Encanto. Yeah, you yeah, do, yeah. You do. yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of getting like the Funko Pop. If somebody can buy me the Funko Pop and send oh, yeah? it to me, I'll actually yeah. put it on. on Damn, you know, you know those Funko Pops resell for hella. I didn't know. Yeah, they're, they're like, fucking I, expensive, I went to, bro. I went into my friend's room and he has a wall full of Funko Pops. Yeah, I'm like, why do you buy this shit like this? I, I don't even know, to be honest. Like, yeah. it's, it's not even that cool. It's not. <laughs> it's it's, not like, that it's cool. just like it's like shit in a box. Like, yeah. Okay. I like I like the Legos though. So you have the Legos. I mean, but to t- each their own though. Like that could be the same as the Funko Pop. That's no. not that's not cooler than a Funko Pop. I think it's cooler than a Funko. I don't Pop. think so. Yeah, I, I think they're at the same level. No, because Funko Pops are keeping the. Bu- I know the Funko Pop mans are gonna be cheese. Yeah. But. Right now, what I think is very cool is collecting cards. If you still have the old Pokemon cards. Oh, I have the, the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if you if you when you were a kid and you went to the mall, right? Mm-hmm. There was that little like um. Where you put a coin. The coin, the coin thing. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And you put a coin and you twist it and you get like the cards. I was like, yeah. That's- yeah, you, you know, they used to have like real gold grills in there too. What? Yeah, yeah. So there's a chance like, <laughs> so they'd have all these jewelries and shit, right? Yeah. And then there's a chance you can get like an actual gold ring, like a real gold, like a, no I think way. like 24 karat. Like uh, actual gold, yeah, yeah. For like twenty five cents. Yeah, no, oh, but it was like super rare, and I think that was yeah. part of the gimmick too. Just oh. like the stupid, um, you know, the gold sand thing, and then you like you like shave it down. Oh, and you then know there's like a about? rock, and then there's like yeah, a rock. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one yeah. of the biggest finesse in the world. No, and uh, Mastermind, Mastermind had that. Yeah, was like, all oh, of that for, shit. For twenty bucks, you get like colorful rocks. It was so stupid. Yeah, but all men were there like, yo, I got a purple one. I think one of the stupidest things I bought growing up had to be the fucking the power bands. Mm, that was kind of a sick one though. I, it was pretty stupid though. Yeah, like but looking but back, it, it was like a cult though. Like if you had it, you were part of a cult. What if we make like a new one? Like I feel like if you put yeah. enough energy behind it, <laughs> enough like brainwashing behind something, yeah, yeah, man's will buy it for sure. I mean that's what happened with the pearl bracelets. If you if you see the pearl, everyone's wearing pearl now because oh. that, that shit became a big trend. True. Maybe, maybe there's a whole like marketing. Yo, I have a theory. Okay, what? <laughs> what if? Yeah. What if this whole generation of like crystal things, yeah, and like all these the spiritual eye. people with crystal stuff? Mm. What if it's all a marketing tactic to try and sell us more? To sell us more what? More crystals? Yeah, a hundred percent it is. It probably is, right? Yeah, I don't know. Yo, imagine like the the start of it though. Like, who was the first one to be like, "Oh, this crystal's giving me good energy," and then it just traded on and on like, no, if you really think because if it. you if you really deep it it's probably like you know in aladdin yeah. the man with the the lamp and he's trying to sell you shit yeah, yeah. it probably started, it started as that. Like, that like you know this rock yeah and it told a story like me like this rock facts. when you put it under the sunlight facts this shit's gonna give you magical powers when you oh wake my up God. it's gonna make your crush love you yeah you know what i mean and then i started with the crystal ball people the crystal ball people definitely had like people like they were doing it for and then they, that people told other people yeah not to say none of that is real because yeah. it could be it could yeah. be but yeah. you have to like be able to open your mind like, hmm, yeah. why am I buying this right now? Yeah, real shit. Sometimes sometimes, sometimes I catch don't. myself not doing that. Yeah. You, you always have to do that. Mm-hmm. A lie. And the, the, oh, hold on. I, I usually don't wear the, the eye anymore. Yeah. Because it's like, that. that's supposed to like, 
uh like summon demons like because it, it's it's supposed to represent oh no it collects uh the energy exactly it, rep it represents uh represents like witchcraft and shit so and that that's not the religion i practice so oh that's why yeah, yeah i don't yeah. wear it no more mm. so you feel me you'll, you'll sometimes see me wearing it if i really feel like oh i need this protection right yeah, now yeah yeah but no other other times like no i'm not gonna wear that mm. see religion is a tough thing like, yeah i don't really want to get into that yeah true but there's certain things you can believe and can't believe right yeah and i think what sucks is when there's like evidence of stuff proving wrong or right mm. yeah what's the what's crazy is like when you see um for example like look at all the conspiracies we talk about mm. like for example the space is fake one. Oh yeah when you see something like that what's your initial reaction it's not true what's your initial reaction like are you shocked are you oh, like yeah oh I'm, I'm not shocked anymore what is it oh now it's i'm not shocked anymore but before 100 percent, it was shocked because if you look if you look at it like this right mm -hmm. the first time you ever heard a conspiracy theory how mind blown were you crazy you can just look at episode three like when you started telling it yeah i was like holy smoke. now now if if this culture continues of us waking each other up or like blowing yeah. each other's minds all the time at this point it's like normal do you think nobody's gonna be mind blown anymore or is it gonna, oh, it gonna be constantly question. crazier shit that one-ups everything we've already seen yeah to be honest i feel like it's gonna get less and less because like if you take a person who always lies and that person who who's getting lied to always knows they don't believe it no more or yeah or what if it's the opposite then? what they if just, what if it's the opposite because everybody's waking up and waking up yeah there's more people that see things that they didn't see before mm. I, I can i can believe and that then too. they start looking back too but i feel like it's just the degree of um the theories we say if we keep saying like the the bullshit ones like the fun ones yeah like the bob ross killed some people yeah yeah that, Th that those are like it's whatever yeah, yeah it's whatever but like if we really get into like skinwalkers the yeah yeah deep ocean shit like that i mm -hmm. feel like we can go like joe rogan yo there's there's a crazy one yeah i it? i recently heard about okay remember remember malaysian airlines oh yeah what, what about the, it? the the flight that disappeared right oh yeah from, was it Bermuda Triangle? That wasn't the Bermuda No, that Triangle. wasn't Bermuda Triangle. Okay, okay. It was something else. Yeah. But you heard about it on the news. Like, Malaysian Airlines, this flight disappeared. Yeah. Nobody knew where it went. Mm -hmm. And so many conspiracy theories happened, right? Yeah. But around that same time, there's this guy yeah. that received a voicemail. And on the voicemail yeah. was, like, a decoded message. Now, listen. He posted this on Twitter. Okay. This voicemail. And pretty much what it was, it was the... You know the military alphabet yeah. where they use code? Okay, yeah, yeah. So like Delta, Tango, mm -hmm. Alpha, Charlie, right? Yeah. What happened was he recorded this whole code and wrote it out, right? Now the voicemail, mm -hmm. it translated to this code that says, S danger, SOS. It is dire for you to evacuate. Be cautious. They are not human. What? And then gave like a whole long ass number yeah. zero four two nine three three like long yeah. ass number right yeah yeah now check this out mm -hmm. when this guy received this voicemail okay was the day that the malaysian airlines flight vanished oh shit so there's theories and conspiracies that the voicemail he actually received was transmitted through the malaysian airlines black box oh. now what's even crazier mm -hmm. the number Right? That long ass number that he received too. Yeah. That is the last coordinates of the flight. What? Yeah. So it's he, the exact coordinates of the flight, the last seen location. So what did he say again? Uh they're not human. So SOS danger. It is dire for you to evacuate. Be cautious. They are not human. They're not human. So so UFOs. Yeah. So check this out. This guy yeah. on Twitter posted it. Mm -hmm. Right? Now what happened was he started getting stalked. Mm -hmm. So I think around like 3 a.m. at night, yeah. he saw this car parked out of his outside of his house. Yeah. Right. And he noticed there was flashes coming from the car. Yeah. So flashes, he was taking pictures. Fuck. Yeah. So what happened was he posted that on Twitter. Yeah. He's like, look at what's going on. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Right. Because he wants to he wants to make it public so that he's he's protected. Yeah. What ended up happening? He started receiving really weird text messages. Okay. Text messages now. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, one of the text messages was this... It was this text message in a different language. I believe it's in... Um, I believe it's in uh, in Thai. Okay. 
but what it translated to yeah was please end your post now you will be in trouble oh the twitter post yeah so no 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 yeah the twitter post yeah yeah so he has to delete it he has to delete it they didn't want that shit up why yo that's so crazy that they're, they're even stalking to the point of twitter yeah <laughs> like, no even no because look look because yeah. because let's say let's say huge information came out let's say yeah. somebody had stuff on you bro yeah what would you do to hide that to hide the information don't go on twitter <laughs> no but like let's, let's say somebody had like a super dark secret what yeah. what depths are you willing to get to to like hide that information hide that no i think i would go i would go take extreme measures to try and get it out to get it out yeah like how the guy did no no i mean sorry i mean like stuff that you didn't want out oh th i didn't want out yeah because sure. if it's top secret information yeah and like, i have to stay alive yeah yeah okay because the, the first one is like no nah, i'm jumping off a bridge still <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, give the, up? yeah like no one's gonna get that information but i'd probably lock myself in like a room in like an attic and just stay there just hide just yeah hide, just hide, hide forever but i feel like you would still get caught though yeah you know, you know those uh thermal thermal AC one thirties. Like they're gonna see me in my house, <laughs> just in my attic eating some noodles. I seen I seen this video before. Yeah, they found this guy that escaped from prison. What prison? I forgot what prison exactly. Okay, I don't know if he. I think he did escape from prison, and then he hid in like this um. Oh no! This Which what, happened. what happened? So there's this guy, and he he got out of jail on bail. Okay, okay. So during his bail, what he did, yeah. he went into this forest. Okay. And he built himself like a shack, like super deep in this cavern, okay. like in this cave in the forest, bro. <laughs> like real Jerusalem shit. Yeah. And then he ended up making like, um, like heating, plumbing. <laughs> I swear to God. Right. <laughs> yeah. Now he was living there for, I think oh, a total of like two years before they found him. Yeah. And the only way they found him was like this guy walking his dog and he came across the the freaking the cave yeah because he saw like a door and like why is there a door in the cave right Holy so he opened it and he's walking through yeah. and he started noticing a heater a fridge and then like all these knickknacks survival gear right yeah and he heard like breathing of what and he looked around no. dog he saw the guy sleeping on a bed in the what back corner the of this cavern so this guy had the whole setup he had a whole setup. So on his bail, he dipped. Yeah. He worked on that shit. And then he hid in there. Oh, my goodness. Before before they started looking for him again. What? Yeah. And so did they find him and arrest him completely? Yeah. So so when that guy, he reported it, he's like, why yeah. is this guy living in here? Yeah. He snitched on him. He's like, okay, I'm going to tell the cops. And the cops came, realized, yeah. oh, it's this guy okay. that went missing. Or I mean, uh, that, that that tried to escape. Okay. So, so he escaped like, it was like a two-year gap when they found him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. For my spring cleaning routine, I always go throughout my room and try to take out all the clutter and get rid of the stuff I don't need. Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie, because then your your head's free. Like, it's clear. Yeah, and one thing you gotta do, too, mm -hmm. is do that same thing with your mental, bro. Fact. Sometimes there's too much stuff on my mind, and I just gotta let loose of stuff. Mm -hmm. And how do I do that? How? Shout out to our sponsors, Talkspace, because Talk I use them to go and talk to a licensed therapist mm -hmm. and get all of my problems off of my chest. Mm -hmm. No, that's good, because some people just don't want to go out and talk with their friends, so what's the best option? A therapist. Talkspace therapists are available to message anytime you need them because you shouldn't have to watch your thoughts pile up until your next appointment rolls around. So I know a lot of you guys out there feel overwhelmed. Even just going out and talking to another person is very hard. So it's normal to put off getting help. So taking the first step to getting help could be scary, but Talkspace makes it super easy. All you got to do is hop onto the app and you guys can talk to a therapist without having to schedule an appointment. It's super flexible, convenient, and affordable with high quality care. So they got 24 seven text, audio, and video messaging. They have thousands of therapists across dozens of specialties. So once you found your therapist, you can message them anytime, anywhere. Plus Talkspace is private, secure, and most importantly, accessible. Everything you love about therapy without all that other stuff getting in the way. So match with your dedicated therapist today at Talkspace.com and use our promo code jumpers at sign up to get a hundred dollars off your first month that's a hundred dollars off with the code jumpers at talkspace.com but no there, there was another story that i read where um a guy literally it was from i think the the case started in 1950s mm -hmm. and they still the the case was recent like they only found him in 2019 oh shit that's yeah. recent yeah so have you heard of the black doodler 
The black dude. On the <laughs> you haven't? What is it? It's so it's like he has a, such a funny name, but such a fucked backstory. So I think so in the 1950s, there was this guy who was like really good at art. Yeah. So he went. He usually targeted like the LGBTQ like community, mm -hmm. right? So he would go into like all the gay bars, like chop it up with the guys, yeah, and then bring them back home. Right, and usually, what do you do after um after you chop it up and, and you're in, and you have a malicious t intent? Yeah, he would kill them. Yeah. He would kill them. He would do whatever he wants with them. And then, right after he killed all of them, mm -hmm. he would literally draw them. Oh, and leave the the drawing right next to their bodies. Nah, that's some freak shit, bro. Yeah, and, and you know what's crazy is like no one wanted to investigate it because obviously back then that no one really cared about the the LGBTQ like that. Mm -hmm. So so like the police were like oh, no, nah, this, this not uh, We're not gonna investigate this case They don't and, wanna give time Yeah exactly It was only until the one investigator Went and he actually What was crazy was He actually came out gay mm. So that guy killed the investigator oh. and, and drew Drew his body Boom And they finally found him After he killed that one investigator Oh In so, 2019 So this What the fuck yeah. So how long ago was this? Like you 1950, and he he planned like he was escaping until uh, what do you call this? 2019. So he was killing people for that long. For that long, I think he had like 16 to 20, 16 to 20 bodies. Yeah, in in that era. Bro, <laughs> but that's you have to a re long time. Yeah, you have to realize half the time was him just fleeing. Oh, like hiding. Like hiding. So he did have a lot of time to kill and draw the bodies at the same time. Damn! See, some people are sick in the mind, it's, it's bro. Weird, bro. And and I think it's a thing of like their own. Um, it's like a pleasure and their yeah. own like twisted art too. Yeah, exactly. Drying, like, why are you why are you drying? I know, that for? I know. When they're dead on the floor, it's weird. You ever watch um uh I saw the devil? No, <laughs> I saw the devil. Wait, have I? I think I've it's heard a Korean of it. movie. It's a Korean. movie I think movie. I heard of it. Tell me, tell me, bro. No, because that reminds you of yeah. that. I I don't want to like get into detail on no, it, no. but. I saw the devil. I say to this day, yeah. still one of my top three Korean films all time. Really? Yeah. Is it actually like talking to the devil? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. It's not what you think. It's not a horror. It oh. is horror. My bad. It is horror, <laughs> but it's not like demonic. Okay. It's not in that sense. Yeah. So it's actually about a serial killer. Okay. So the serial killer, yeah. he ends up killing this secret agent's wife. Yeah. Right? Okay. Now... You kill the wife of a secret agent. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah. On some taken shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, On some dead. Liam Neeson shit. You're this dead. guy, he ended up hunting down the serial killer. Yeah. Planting like um, uh, like this pill. Mm -hmm. He made him swallow this pill so he knows his location yeah. and what he's talking about whenever and wherever he is. Fuck. That's yeah. weird. So he would follow this guy, stop him from doing other murders, yeah. and just torture him for the the rest of his life pretty much yeah yeah right now what's crazy the dilemma is like he's doing this to the serial killer mm -hmm. but in a sense would you say he's just as evil now oh 100 percent right yeah 100 percent. if you're fucking with someone else's life you're definitely evil because i'm leaving out some certain like violent parts but this yeah. guy did some shit to him too okay. you know i mean like he's breaking his so, bones so, so like, why is it why is it called talking to the devil like Oh, I saw the devil? Oh, yeah, I saw the devil. Damn, the stuff that this guy did is messed up. Yeah? Like, I'm talking, like, body parts, you know? Oh, my God. Yeah. No, that's weird. And, bro, the thing is, this movie's so good because it, yeah. it really gives a good um idea of how dark that world could be. Yeah. Because there's this scene where he's, like, walking, trying to catch a ride. Mm -hmm. Trying to catch a ride, right? And he ends up catching a ride with these two weirdos like there's this taxi driver and this guy in the back like oh yeah you yeah. can you can drive with us yeah for sure and it turns out these guys themselves yeah are also like killers themselves too killers bro themselves? so th so they, they were gonna kill him too yeah they're gonna kill him too oh they're gonna kill the serial killer nah so th it's like a whole culture fam yeah i was just stalkers just like stalkers like really like evil people nah have you heard of the the, the ghost game the whisper game the whisper game was yeah. This, this, kind, this kind of relates to your story, but like, so this is this is to um to summon like a ghost stalker. Mm -hmm. So if if you if you play this game, if you win, yeah. you either have protection for seven years, but if you lose, the stalker will take your life. What do you mean, like a like a paranormal? Like a paranormal stalker, ghost stalker. Oh shit! So this is how you play the game. So to begin with, on your window still, 
for every single day, yeah. you're going to get seven items and of like, I guess. Like trinkets? Yeah, no, of something important to you, right? Mm-hmm. So every day you're going to put a put an item on the, the window still, go to bed. Put an item on the window still, go to bed. It's like you're giving gifts, mm. right? And on the seventh day, the last one, you should give the most important gift to the ghost. Mm-hmm. And when you do it, you have to say, whisper, man, here, uh, it's time to receive your gifts, right? Of your own personal things? Of your own personal things. Because it's like you're giving gifts, you want to play a game with him. Yeah, yeah. Right? So now, the next morning, if you if there's no one outside your window, mm-hmm. the game has failed and you have to try again later. Mm-hmm. But if the game, if the, it was successful, you'll see a white shadow figure far in the distance. Oh, shit. Right? And this is where the game begins. As the weather gets warmer, fact you can help you spend less time at home and in the kitchen and enjoy more time outside and enjoying the weather. For all you meal preppers, no need. So no more cooking, no more grocery shopping, and no more dirty dishes, plus the perfect health-conscious grab-and-go add-ons like smoothies and juices. Luckily, I don't have to meal prep or meal plan. I can still eat well now that I can leave my meals to Factor. Factor makes it easy for me to eat clean 24-7 with fresh, never-frozen, prepped meals that are so delicious, you wouldn't even believe that they're good for you. So feel good for summer. Choose from Factor's Cali Smart and keto options with built-in portion control to help you guys get fit for the summer and it now offers 30 meals per week where you guys can choose from a variety of new meals every week so factor saves time by delivering chef created meals to my doorstep eliminating the hassle of grocery shopping and meal prep and not to mention cleanup no dishes to wash Plus, Factor tackles the tough stuff so I don't have to. The registered dietitians and expert chefs work hand-in-hand to create meals with nutritious ingredients. And for all you guys who have preferences, they offer vegan, veggie meals, low-calorie options, extra protein, veggie side, all that just to keep you guys fueled and focused all day long. Head to go.factor75.com slash jumpers120 or use code jumpers120 to get $120 off. That's code jumpers120 at gofactor 75 dot com slash jumpers 120 for 120 dollars off all right so you watch sports right yeah but it's hard for me to keep up all the time because mm. i don't really there's too much games going on too much going on exactly mm-hmm. so there's a new podcast actually from wondery it's, it's called the lead starting five mm-hmm. and they make it easy to catch up on all your favorite players and all the games too so podcast i can just play podcast. this in my car exactly when anywhere. i'm going on a bike ride anywhere you want so for anyone who's wondering the lead starting five brings you five stories from the world of sports every weekday Get the same stellar reporting as the lead, but now in a daily format in just 10 minutes. Join Matt Strope, Tiffany Oshnitsky, Tate Frazier, Sarah Kessel as they break down the biggest sports stories of the day. Whether it's Tom Brady unretiring, LeBron James hinting at another return to Cleveland, or a minor league mascot getting named Blob through a Twitter fan vote, you'll hear about it on Starting 5. So listen now on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or Ad Free by joining joining Wondery Plus in the Wondery app. The lead starting five, five sports headlines in 10 minutes. Because yeah. now, every time that 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 stalker is going to try and kill you. Mm. So every time you look away, he's going to slowly get oh. slowly get closer to you. Oh. And the crazy thing is, even when you sleep, yeah, yeah. he's allowed to move. What? So so you have to survive seven days of this. So how in your house or where, fam? Literally, he can be in your house. He's gonna make his way slowly into your house, up the stairs. But you just can't can't leave your eyes off him. Oh, so when you look at him, he, he pauses. He, he oh, pauses. that's like the Mario the Bush. Mario, the <laughs> that's not Mario. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that ass. But when you sleep, like you, he's gonna move and shit. If you close your eyes, I can kill that ghost. Are you I sure? I can beat that shit. Really? Wait, what was that noise? What was that noise? That's oh, a, I think that's that's my phone. I <laughs> that was fucking scary. That was kind of scary when I said that. He's like, Yo. I can beat it. Ding, bat. Yo, the, <laughs> the window. <laughs> it's like the whole podcast. Yo, what would you do? Yeah. What would you do if I told you a story? Yeah. I should fucking get Nelk to to help me prank <laughs> you one day. <laughs> yeah. And it just comes to like, like I tell you some crazy story, yeah, like some and it killer. actually happens in this room. It's like, you know, some serial killer with a pig mask is coming out there in Toronto. And then, like, there's a pig guy right there. I would actually, like, yo, Carl, what the fuck is going and then, on? And then five minutes later, it's fucking, yeah. it's Nelk. <laughs> you see, like, Kyle and Steve and shit. 
<laughs> that would be fucked, man. There's too, there's too many videos of me getting paranoid. You guys are making comments. I'm surprised you haven't been pranked before. Like, I feel like you'd be a perfect person to prank. Yeah, no, I have. Just when I was little. Yeah. It was mo- mostly like the whoopee cushion shit. I was so easy. I was so gullible, fam. <laughs> but I think that the most like I just didn't like the whoopee cushion one. Yo, yo, you know, they, you know, if you like say orange really slowly, it sounds like gullible. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> you run to do, yo. Shut this guy was about to do no, it no, though. No, no, <laughs> this guy was about to do it. I saw for a quick second. Okay, I, I'll I'll show you an optical illusion though. Okay, that's actually like um really popular today. Okay, so when you look at this picture, I yeah. want to I want to ask you: Is the horse walking forward or he's walking back? Okay, Let me see. ready. This I can't tell. What? It's like it's like he's it's like he's moving forward and back though. No way. He's like in, he's ask? like in he's like he's like going like this. No, he's not. You're weird. Why? You're weird. Cause me, I only see it as backwards. And my see? my sister only sees it as moving forwards. No, he's taking a step forward and then going like this. Yo, that's weird. That's weird. That no, mean- look, the front leg. Look at the front leg. Is he not moving forward? No, he's moving back, fam. Nah, the the back. When I look at the back, yeah, you're he's moving weird. back. When you're, I look at nah, you're weird. Nah, you're weird. No, it looks almost as if the the front torso is going yeah, forward, and then the back one's moving backwards. Nah, that's actually so it's like it's holding him back like this. Nah, that's actually crazy. Cause cause like if you see the horse, it says walking forward. Your left brain. If you're if you see the horse walking back, walking backwards, you're right brained. You see the horse walking back and forth. So I guess No, but I'm not I'm I know I'm I'm right brained though. You're right brained? Or wait, 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 hold on. <clears throat> so it says if you're walking backwards, then it's right brained. I'm what right brained. It's walking backwards to me. I actually can't tell, fam. I actually can't tell. Like honestly can't tell. Yeah, you've you've tapped into to both your brains. <laughs> no, that's weird. <laughs> What the fuck? You've actually tapped into both your brains. <laughs> and then I'll show, I'll show you one more. Because it said that uh, the really high IQ people will yeah. see this one. So what do you see here? Like an old guy sleeping. What okay, okay. So it, everyone sees the old guy sleeping, but yeah. you see the young woman sleeping. The young woman and sleeping. And I'm going to give you a hint. It's like right up there. Right up here. Not a lot of people see it. This is one of the big ones, like really big Young ones right now. Too. Sleeping? Yeah. No, but I see like something now, so yeah, I don't want to yeah. say what it is. <laughs> so so you're close. You're close. No, wait, wait. Can I show you something? Okay, well. This is what I see, fam. What, a dick? <laughs> no, I see like I see like this squid. Oh shit. I see like this jellyfish and then he's on top of like this. You see this? It looks like a jellyfish to me. What the fuck? Like this looks like the jellyfish thing. <laughs> oh yeah, I see. And then too. there's like eyes and oh, like the, a mouth. The, the, the <laughs> That's what I see. I see like a jellyfish. Where? Nah, there's a woman sleeping. <laughs> And it's only like the highest IQ people like Elon Musk. Dog, yeah, you're talking to a college dropout right now, fam. Like, I'm not no high IQ shit, you know? <laughs> you're right. I forgot. <laughs> I remember, you know what's funny? What? So my cousin, she's getting her diploma framed, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, Carlos, what do you think? What do you think I should get for my diploma frame? And she's like showing me all these diploma frames. Yeah. I'm like, I like the light. I like the white one. And she said, no, I like the purple one. I like this one. Like the black one. I'm like, yeah. I like the white one. And it's like, are you sure? And they're asking everybody else, right? Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, you know what? I think I'm going to go with the purple one. Because everybody says the purple one. And like, yo, okay. honestly, don't ask me about diploma shit because I'm a dropout. <laughs> So like I'm the worst person to ask And I told her I told her I'm not gonna get no diploma on my wall What I'm gonna do instead What? I'm gonna get the Kanye vinyl The college (laughs) dropout And put that on my wall That's fire No I'm telling you Once I graduate next year I'm gonna have the the whole gown on And you're just gonna have to watch We're gonna do the whole podcast And I'll dress up as a teddy bear From from college dropout That's fire (laughs) But but you know how also In uh, graduation pics Like you can do those funny ones Yeah You can have like the microphone And shit like that Yeah yeah I'm literally If you're allowed another person I'm literally gonna have you in the back. <laughs> <laughs> like, like we're both gonna have the mic, so we're just gonna be like this. I'm gonna have the diploma, you're gonna have the mic, <laughs> and then I'm gonna let you hold it. We're both gonna Yo. let you hold it. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
so you can show your mom like yo shit look one i think one of my favorite ones is like um you, you know you know how they put like uh the title i mean sorry the uh, episode title and then like a time oh yeah, yeah yeah those are my favorite bro those are my favorite you put like a sequence yeah. and you put in your quote oh facts because because we never we never do timestamps yeah we never do timestamps i i hope oh if yeah. somebody does like a a, a yearbook quote and oh. puts like an episode from jumpers oh, jump that's fire. Yo. yo please do that if please y'all do that, do that Facts. Fuck, bro. I'll get you on the podcast. Oh, I'll get that's you on crazy. the podcast. Facts. It's like 458. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get you on, like, on call on the podcast. You can talk with us. Oh, that's fine. Because we haven't done that yet. Take yeah, that in. Because I can do that on here. Okay, like, I can just have like live calls. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That to Whoever's do, doing it, it's graduating season two. So everyone's graduating. Yeah, if you have a yearbook. yearbook come in, you need a yearbook <laughs> quote. And you use like one of those episode, whatever, 30, whatever. Exactly. Of Jumper's Jump. Plug the channel. And then like a time. Yes. Yo, I'll put you guys on the yes, podcast. Sir, I promise you. Fine. That's fine. <laughs> so speaking of like, I guess, secret messages and yeah. final messages to the world. Yeah. Yo, there's this crazy story I heard. Okay. Right. And there's this gorilla oh, that shit. they train to understand English. Oh, shit. So they trained him to know sign language and actually communicate with English. Right. No way. Now, this is what blows my mind. Right. Because mm. imagine somebody... That's not human. Yeah. What their take on the world is. Somebody that's not human from an animal. Mm, Perry the Platypus type beast. Yeah, like anybody, right? Like <laughs> yeah. any any other living creature. Mm -hmm. This gorilla, before he was going to die, yeah. he had a final message to the world. Oh, like Harambe? Was this Harambe? No, no, no. Okay. So this, this gorilla's name is Coco. Oh, Coco, Coco the gorilla. I don't know if you ever heard of it. I heard of Coco the gorilla. So... Coco the gorilla had yeah. a final message to the world. What was it? And here, I'll show you what it is. Okay, it's mad deep, bro. Okay. Listen. So pretty much he says, I am flowers. I am nature. Coco love man. Earth. Coco love. But man. Stupid. stupid. And look, he's crying. You can see the gorilla's crying. See, stupid again. He says oh, stupid. Sorry. Coco, sorry. Coco, cry. Damn, what happened? Time, hurry. Fix, earth. Oh. Help, earth. Oh, that's crazy. And he says, hurry, protect earth. Nah. So this is before he was going to die. Yeah. So he knew his time was ending and he knew he was going to die. Like his life was going to die. Yeah. But he, that was his final message because he's able to communicate with humans. Mm -hmm. Other animals, they can't. Yeah. You know what I mean? So imagine what crazy things an animal wants to tell you. Holy. Wait, so when was this again? The date? I think this was 2018. So that's recent. Yeah, 2018. Coco lived from 1971 to 2018, but he RP, died in 2018. Coco, man. Yeah. Nah, that's crazy. So there's either two things, man. The earth is going to get destroyed, completely blown up, because obviously the environment, like mm -hmm. shit's going on now, climate change. Or it's like he was just crying because, um, what do you call this? He was trapped in like, you know how the, the zoo keeps animals in that enclosed capture? I don't think, I, they probably took care of him. Yeah. I don't think that's what it is. I think it's more of, you know how everything, you know how that theory I said how everything everything's is connected? Oh. Everything's connected. Oh, yeah, yeah. So including like plant life, trees, it's all connected. It's all one ecosystem, right? Yeah. You ever heard that theory how the world is just the world experiencing itself? The world is the world experience so no. the universe is itself experiencing itself no i haven't heard that what is you that? haven't heard of that no what is that yo this is like one of the biggest theories bro really so you know um you know pictures of galaxies yeah so oh no with nebulas you ever oh, seen yeah, a nebula, picture of yeah. a nebula i have i have so there's theories that things we see in nature things we see in the universe mm -hmm. resemble just the human body yeah so if you look at a picture of a nebula okay. and a human eye, mm -hmm. they're very similar. Look at look at a nebula and then look at an iris. Oh, so so you're saying like, oh, it's just the all seeing like eye? No. It's nah dog, look, listen. Yeah. Everything out in nature, right? Yeah. So roots. A tree has roots. Mm -hmm. What do humans have? A nervous system. Oh, okay. Like yeah. The similarities, everything. Yeah. Like it's all connected. Oh shit! So, what was the big theory on the the cocoa? 
no the so he was trying to explain that yeah why did he say i am flowers why did he say i am i am nature oh he's just saying that he's, he's saying connected. he's part of it so he knows himself that he's part of it shit rp coco man yeah damn so that's like the the pan pangeo theory yeah you know the pangeo theory that i said i think you told that i think you yeah i that. did say that i did say that yeah. how how disease and then we could be the disease of the earth yeah to be honest i think we are because we're the only one fucking it up right now yeah yeah it's it's the exact same thing and i think the more we realize that it's all just one cycle because yeah. if you really take it in it we, we really are the earth like yeah we become dirt into the earth and mm. do we not become the earth then yeah that's right? mostly it yeah if, if you look at like um your body mm -hmm. and then you look at the earth itself yeah technically everything on your body is you right mm -hmm. including like your pores oil whatever that's mm -hmm. inside of you Mm -hmm. including all the like bacteria and shit it's yeah. still part of you know it's just our souls don't, don't go like our souls go up to heaven type shit yeah so look at look at on a different scale mm -hmm. the earth the world yeah. has all of these living creatures on it mm -hmm. is it not just one though is it all just one is the earth not just one organism yeah together? it is all just one and yeah. we're, we're just like the, the working ants you know how the ants have to create the anthill mm -hmm. we're that to the earth yeah and then instead of like doing like building it we're actually like tearing it down which is kind of fucked Mm -hmm. but you know but what would your final words be my final words to the yeah. world yeah damn that's a tough one bro that's like some yeah. deep shit mm -hmm. or you, you you could always take the the, the funny route it's like the, like a funny quote nah i feel like i feel like it was my final words i can't go out trolling yeah. i can't go out I, feel like, I feel like i would definitely go out trolling i feel like stranger things episode 1 14 12 like nah what the fuck do a time step nah. who the fuck is this guy nah i can't do that i can't do nah. that i gotta be like really you're actually gonna nah i'd have to like come up with something serious bro yeah oh i i talked i think i talked about this on on ctm i forgot wh which episode i was with yeah but Oh, I, I don't know if I told it to you. What? So my Lolo, he he told me something really deep. What did he say? He said, um, he said in religion, in, in Catholicism at least, right? Mm, yeah. Everything, like the Ten Commandments, all of God's like rules, mm -hmm. they can all be categorized into two things. Into what two things? Love one another mm -hmm. and not love another. And not love another. Yeah, love two, one another yeah so if you think about it if we all just love one another yeah how would the world be harmony yeah but the mix-up is mm -hmm. love another not one another love another well what does that mean what love another person yeah love another person like yeah. another not one another so another is is it's pretty it's much multiple. narrowing it down oh it's narrowing it yeah love another love another so if I pick one over the other, yeah, it's yeah. another, right? Yeah. And then if I if I love one another, it's together. Mm, okay. You get me? One. You don't get it? No, I, I get it. Hold on. <laughs> Say the first one again. Love one another. Okay, yeah. So that's together. Yeah. But it, okay, and then the other one is just one person. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. The other the other one is another. picking over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is picking over. <laughs> this guy's doing me tongue twisters. No, it's not. It's literally so simple, fam. It's literally so no, simple. No, it's okay. That's facts. No, but like, um, because if you look at anything, all the, all the Ten Commandments, they could all go into one thing. Yeah. So love one another. Mm -hmm. Like if I love one another, I think about you, 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 you all yeah. together. Mm -hmm. But if I just love another mm -hmm. rather than one another, yeah. what happens? Oh, then there's, man. then there's, um, preferences. Mm -hmm. There's um there's guilt there's jealousy yeah you know yeah there was also another thing was like oh if you love life love life loves you it's like kind of the energy one it's mm. like oh as soon as you start being happy everything positive then all the happy and positive shit's gonna happen to you where you believe in that yeah I believe in that yeah, that's like you, karma yeah that's kind of like karma kind of there's one thing I've been thinking about a lot which one is like super deep right so in in ancient Egypt right. Yeah. <laughs> They say when you go, when you die uh -huh. and you go to the afterlife, you're greeted by the God Osiris. Yeah. He's the God of death, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. God of the underworld. And he asks you two questions before you can enter paradise. What? You know what they are? What are they? The first one yeah. is, did you find joy in this life? Did I find joy in this life? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the second question is, what? did you bring joy to others? Did you bring joy to others? For sure. Hundred. Yeah, and then if you can answer those two questions, yeah, positively, 
you're you're allowed then in. you can go in oh if you're a youtuber easy yes yeah <laughs> you feel me yeah and i think i think yeah i passed that a lot there, there's, there's another there's another like little ritual except not the it's heaven it's actually hell like the grim reaper mm -hmm. so like if you wanna if you want like um eternal life yeah you have to do this ritual right so i think what you do is you kind of simulate like a funeral so you go into a graveyard and you have your three candles what the fuck? yeah no and then you dress like you're going to a funeral why right so i think this is the ritual is actually called talking to death i think it's called talking to death ritual mm -hmm. right so you're, you're going to go to any random person's like dead like uh what do you call this what do you call this uh tombstone tombstone yeah right and you're gonna you're gonna start the ritual you're gonna light up all the ca uh candles and you're gonna uh, start saying stuff and then the grim reaper will pop out behind you Mm. Right, and you have to try and convince the Grim Reaper for an hour that you actually knew that person. Whoa! And you you're allowed to fake your answers. You just have to make it very convincing. Yeah. But if the Grim Reaper doesn't believe you, then you're gonna he's gonna kill you right there. But if you actually if he does give you that uh the pass, yeah, yeah, then you get like eternal life. You're all you're Word. protected for all your years. There's gotta be some catch, man. What, yeah, the, the catch is you die or you or you live. Also, oh, it's 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 just that one game. Yeah, so that, like ritual. It's kind of not not even a game because it's not a game you should be playing. Yeah, <laughs> Did, have people done this before? I, I've heard I've heard stories <laughs> about people crazy. doing it. That's crazy. That's the reason I found out about it. What if what if um if you want to join the Illuminati, like that's what you got to do. <laughs> what you have to go to uh the Met Gala <laughs> in, the, in the washroom when everyone's doing cocaine. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you, you do bro. it. You, you light up the candles. And then Ke uh, Kendall Jenner will appear back. How do you get invited to that in the Met Gala? Met Gala? I don't know. You just have to be of high status. That's all it is? Yeah. Mm. To be honest, I feel like you could just finesse your way into a Met Gala. You can finesse your way into many things. I remember um, there was this girl that wore a dress. Yeah. And it's like, fuck the rich. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> to the Met Gala, bro. <laughs> Did you see the, the ones in the playoffs where it's like, uh, with the the protest of the animals killing animals, so when nah. there's a, there's a whistle called and the, the the player is shooting a foul shot, yeah, a person would would storm on the court and like raise her t shirt and it's like stop killing the animals or some shit like that. That always happens. I though. know that always happens. But, but there was a security guard who was like stalking her the whole game, yeah, and then he's like once she, once he knew, boom, they, they they caught her as soon like she couldn't even touch the floor. Mm. Like, you know who did that and got famous? Who? I oh, think, oh, Vitaly, Vitaly. Yeah, Vitaly, Vitaly yeah. he did it. But another girl, um, Jake Paul's girlfriend, Julia Rose. That's how she got famous. Julia Rose? Yeah. What'd she do? Like flash? Yeah, she flashed like oh. a baseball game. So she was right behind um the, the what do you call it? The back catcher? Yeah, so that's why the camera's on. Yeah, the, cat, the catcher, the angle, <laughs> and then like she's just like right in the back of yeah. it. So she pulled up her, her thing, that's and crazy. then she had... The name of her her website. Oh, that's she fire. had the name of her website like that's right fire. under her titties, fam. That's fire! Now, if yeah. you guys if you guys ever go to a game and do jumpers jump on your chest, <laughs> Yo. we will get you on the podcast. That's crazy. Okay, wait, what 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 is the side side effects if you actually run and they catch you? They just kick you out, right? No, you get arrested. No, I don't think so. I don't think it's like a big like yeah public public indecency. But that's not that's not big of a charge. That's like what one or two days in jail. Yeah, but it's still a charge. What do you mean, fam? That's still a charge, bro. Let's still get you on the podcast, man. God, I don't condone that. I don't condone that. I don't condone that, so. Go run. Nah. Go run. Nah, people. I don't. At Jumpers Jump. Do it, yeah. I'm not. I don't know about that one, though. I don't know about that one. And do, do shout out Carlos. I never said that. I never said that. And do shout out Carlos. Have you, have you seen that? Um, Have you seen that clip on <laughs> UFC? Which where one? There's. He, he, who's the other guy beside Joe Rogan? Oh, it always changes, though. Oh, the, the, the Indian guy? The no, Indian no, guy? no. There's a different guy. There's a Shit. different guy. There's Joe Rogan and another white guy. I forgot his name. But anyways, anyways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like, um, he's naming, he was saying the names of the fighters. Okay. And it's like, you can tell the, who they are uh -huh. by the, so I forgot his name. So let's just say, blah, 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 in okay. the black shorts. Blah, 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 in the white shorts. Yeah, yeah. Right? And then Joe Rogan goes, <laughs> or blah, 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 as the black guy, <laughs> blah, 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 as the white guy. <laughs> Wait, and no. then you know what the guy said? He's like, what? and that was said by Joe Rogan. <laughs> He didn't want to take no credit. Yeah, he wanted to take no He said, that was said by Jerome again. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh my Yo, this guy was not trying to get canceled, fam. I think I think the, the craziest story that I, from UFC fighter that I heard mm -hmm. was uh, 
uh, Masvidal. Yeah. When he when he actually described the feeling of getting knocked out. What did he say? And he's like, he's like, you literally, it's like someone turning off the lights. <laughs> <laughs> like, like someone will flick off the lights and then yeah. flick them back off. But this time when they flick them back off, you don't know where the fuck you are. Damn, bro. And like, you know who, who he knocked out with the flying knee? Mm. Uh, um, ben, ben Askren. Askren. Yeah, yeah, Ben he's Askren. Like, he's like, it sucks because he literally flicked on the lights and he was in a hospital, fam. Oh, shit. <laughs> like that sucks yo nah i i, I never want to get knocked out yeah fam. that's that's no, the even, scariest thing even, even passing out i remember my one of my friends was telling me she was doing um this was during covid and mm -hmm. this was when they were recording the church um what do you call the, the the church like uh ceremonies yeah and she was she was on the drums right she, she passed was, out from heat yeah no it was like like you know the covid mass is like thing and she told me like her eyes were getting like oh. black and she was on the drums and you can see in the live video yeah <laughs> oh damn and then like the the church thing was still going so it was so funny because everyone in the chat the virtual chat was yeah. like is she good <laughs> holy shit <laughs> she thought she everyone thought like the devil got her or some shit like that yo yeah it was scary have you passed out yourself yeah, yeah i remember no not pass out but almost pass out remember i was telling you i was literally walking and i didn't know where i was going Oh yeah, you, you felt like blind. Yeah, I felt blind. Like I think you said because you didn't eat. Yeah, I didn't. That's eat, why, man. man. That's I why. didn't eat, fam. But no, I think the one of the the recent ones too. Did you see the Gervonta fight? Oh, with, with the Roly. Yeah. Oh my god, I would never want to take a punch from Gervonta, man. He didn't get knocked out cold though. Oh, did you see him? He's like on the ropes. Like yeah, this. yeah, yeah. That was what crazy. do you think's worse? Do you, would you rather be knocked out cold or like wobble? Do a chicken dance. Oh, wobbled still. Word. Yeah. I, I feel I feel like it's only in me to do do like a wobble. <laughs> <laughs> just fried, right? yeah. just straight fried, like <laughs> walk over here. <laughs> Man, I'm not like even if the lights are out, yeah. my body just somehow <laughs> gonna do something. I just have a feeling. It's like you don't want to take that. Out. Yeah, like like my the the fucking the fibers in my muscles are gonna do something. Just like that, keep me standing. That's bro. ignorance at its its highest. Yeah, like peak, literally, man. literally. That's crazy. There's, there's no way possible. Like I'm yeah. gonna go down, fam. Like I gotta like. Like Tyson Fury, that shit, like, just wake up randomly. Yeah, whoa. I still don't know how he did that, bro. It, that was real life Creed. Yeah, I don't know how he did that. Because, like, the guy, who who was the guy? The bomber? Oh my goodness, he throws with, like... Deontay? Deontay yeah, Wilder? Like, yeah. Taking a punch from him, you're dead. I, if, if I took a punch, I would be dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think you can die from, like, a straight punch, like, to the jaw? You can, right? I think you can. Wasn't wasn't there um, a boxer that... um. Uh, one day, one of the his opponents didn't, oh, he didn't put, put like the plastic. No, no he, he put plaster in. Oh, it. he put plaster. Yeah, and then after he died of that. Yeah, yeah. Because he took up. he took that so much rounds. Up. That that's crazy. You can't do that in any other sports too. Like, yeah, because boxing is literally you can, you can you're fighting each other. Exactly, boxing boxing like when you really look at it, it's really is that the only sport where it's technically like <laughs> mano trying mano? to kill somebody? Yeah. Man. <laughs> And UFC, but like that's newer. UFC, yeah, yeah. But boxing always been like that ancient, ancient thing. Like it's never changed. Yeah, even just like real life gladiators. Exactly. Stuff. It's just it's just got worse. But even if you've seen those, like I think it's called Street Fight League, where it's like nothing. You just have bare knuckle. Like, yeah, bare knuckle league. You just fight. Yeah, yeah. That that's like Kimbo Slice. Yeah, that's yeah. how Kimbo Slice got in the UFC. They they found him off there. Yeah, I know. I think I think um there's like a whole there's like a whole like um culture of different fighters just for that too. Oh, of like just they, yeah, they they have like their own league and then they have like their own culture. Like, yo, this guy's fighting this. Guy. They have their own Conor McGregor's fam. They have their own like really, but all street fighters. Damn. Yeah, you know uh, Lil Cray Cray. Oh, the Filipino, he's, he's not Filipino. I think the, he's the Thai. The YouTuber. The YouTuber. Yeah, I think he, he. I think he might be Thai or something. Oh yeah, he's actually, or Lao. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but but yeah, he's one of the. He, he's like. Yeah, East Asian fam. No way. So he's actually in like he's like a Conor McGregor in the league. No, people know about him, bro. He's he's big, oh, fam. Shit. Yo, Craig, just from you said he said you're a pussy. <laughs> nah, he's gonna fight you now. <laughs> <laughs> gonna fight you. <laughs> Carlos said you're pussy. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> I would spar though. I would spar. No, that would be a really sure. good fight. Yeah, yeah. If I would put like the TikTok versus YouTubers, that's a that's a good event. fight. That's a good fight. Be, you have yeah. to put me against like your brother. No, but he if if it's boxing fam, like he's yeah. probably. Like, I'll no, quit me for he's, sure. He's crazy, fam. But I'm still riding with you still.
<laughs> but wait, I, I, I've been having these like these little manifestations. Yeah. First of the Oxwars one where we're gonna throw like those big events. Yeah, yeah. But I've also had another one where it's like, uh, it's, it was probably just because I was in the the mood of boxing. Mm -hmm. But it was it wasn't you fighting. Someone called me out in the YouTuber match. Yeah. And then you 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 they didn't want to fight you because you're too big. <laughs> so you trained me, right? So yeah. so I literally I literally went in and I was getting I was getting pop 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 every yeah. round until I got that lucky shot. Mm -hmm. And then and then everyone like. Like chair and you st <laughs> storm the ring and i was like let's go <laughs> i'd be the sickest coach now nah, I feel if, like I, if i coach you it'd be crazy i feel like you would because I, I, all i heard in the back was liver shot liver shot and i did the liver shot yeah, yeah. and then all you see and i point at you <laughs> that'd be crazy that was crazy yeah I, I think that's one of my dreams still i still want to like corner man somebody you yeah. know like a boxing fight or even yeah. just like a kickboxing mma whatever mm -hmm. have you coached like if you went to tournaments have you coached someone else Nah. It's a crazy feeling, fam. Really? Because you want to fight. Like, in your body, like, you want to go out there and you see, Because you ass, see what fam. they don't. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, at the end of the day, it's like, they're not listening to you. It's fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think what's so great about feeling that is yeah. you get to see how the outside doesn't see certain things. Yeah. Or the inside doesn't see certain things. For real. It's, it's like a different outlook, right? Mm -hmm. Like, let's say you're going through a problem, an issue. Even let's say you're going through, like, a breakup. Yeah. Right? People can see from the outside mm -hmm. what people don't see on the inside yep. and it's like two separate games like yeah. there's there could be good advice but there could be bad advice because you don't see what's, what's but to on be that honest, angle it's all it's all good advice because even if it's bad advice maybe something underlying yeah might, might come across from that that's why that you always ask your friends but you never listen yeah no dead ass, dead ass <laughs> you yeah. just you just get the outside okay this is what the outside looks like bet yeah no nah, for real i'm still for making real. an internal decision <laughs> <laughs> but it's still good i think just just getting information in for general sure. for sure or at least like educating yourself on the situation is good yeah yeah for sure because if you don't know what's going on on the outside or how other people see how are you gonna know yeah. from the outside yourself mm, that's true because you can see you can see somebody else's relationship and have your own judgments yeah. that's why they say like you can see everything's wrong with everybody else but not yourself but not yourself mm. yeah it takes a certain person to realize to realize yeah because yeah. because I, I can definitely say what i do wrong in life you feel me and target that that thing but i feel like a lot of you guys were like oh remember when you were like oh yeah you you still dwell on the past like mm -hmm. i didn't notice that by myself because i didn't want to believe it word yeah you feel me? yeah because i feel like I, I don't talk about it a lot but you're like nah you actually do i'm like oh do i yeah i'm not gonna lie <laughs> yeah, yeah. no but there's certain things like i wouldn't just like blatantly tell you yeah, for yeah, me for sure, like for sure. out of your out of your own ego i don't want to like destroy man that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no because i feel like there's certain people in your life if you hear something from them is be like oh 100, devastating 100 like when i heard some some things from certain people i hold high in my life i'm like yeah. nah if they said that shit to me i'd probably like reevaluate yeah but if it was from somebody else like in the comments or whatever, whatever yeah that's true that's true that's true wait so like who who would be like one of those big people like anybody of my family for sure. Okay, yeah. Right, anybody of my family. Yeah. Maybe somebody I look up to. Yeah, Joe Rogan's like, yeah, your podcast is actually shit. <laughs> now, nah, okay, if it's something <laughs> like, if it's a like celebrity, I wouldn't like give a shit. No, nah, if Joe Rogan actually just randomly messaged yo fam, you're actually a copycat. Like, <laughs> like your, your content is shit. Well, you just, I know you, the whole podcast, like you're just sitting there like this. Like Carlos would come out a whole different person. Nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I show him, I show him oh, up, bro. Show him? I show him up. You show him, bad, bad, bad. I show I'd show him like I'm the best podcaster in the world. I I'd show him that. Yeah, because if Bobby Lee roasts me, because I know he's a comedian, if yeah. I ever get on his podcast, he's definitely gonna roast me. I know I'm gonna sit like at my house and be like, damn. I don't no, even you gotta how are you gonna roast him back? What yeah. do you say? What no, do you I'm say? Not, I'm not giving him to roast him back. I'm just gonna be like, fuck man, like I hate Bobby Lee now. <laughs> Yo, do you hear about the drama though? What what drama? You don't know about the Bobby Lee drama? Fam? What Bobby Lee drama? Yo Then he went back into rehab? No, bro. What Bobby Lee drama? Wait, is he back in rehab right now? I think so. I, no, I think he just came get out, got out. Oh, what happened? What happened? So you know how like Kalila had beef with um, what did Brendan Shaw? Oh yeah, what happened? Yo, so the whole issue was uh Brendan Shaw beef with Bobby Lee and Kalila, right? Yeah, yeah. Now who came out the villain? Bobby? No. Shaw, right? No. Kalila? Kalila came out the villain. What? What she do? So check this out, fam. What? So. She ended up saying like they were in an open relationship and it seemed like Bobby didn't want that. No. And he's just like compromising for her. No. So way. she was trying to make this whole big of deal with Bre the Brendan issue, right? Yeah. But it turns out the who this is the real villain in the whole situation. And all the fans are like, 
yo, this is not right. And then they don't look at her the same no more. No, not Kalila, man. Yeah. That's crazy. But who knows? I don't know the situation, feel yeah, me? Like, I'm yeah. not in their shoes. Like, what I was just saying. Yeah. So, so what you're mostly telling me is <coughs> Kalila was f- fucking Brandon Schwab. I don't know. Yeah. But, but that's like, I don't know. Allegedly. I don't even know that if that's what happened. But okay. well, what I do know is what happened is they were in a like a open relationship and Bobby Lee was like picking guys for her. But I don't know if he, that's actually what he wanted. Because oh. it seems like that's what she wanted. But I don't think Bobby Lee wanted that. Word. Damn, Bobby. You're losing your girl, man. Cause and then and then um if you if you look at like really old episodes of them together, yeah. she like drops subtle hints like, Oh yeah, you know Bobby's a cuck. But Bobby's like he's like he's not he's, he's not he's like Nah, I could never do that, like, bro. If I see if I see anybody that I'm physically attracted to kissing another person, fam, that's wild. That's kind of wild. You think an open relationship is is possible? Though? I think it's yeah, possible. It is possible. It is possible. I feel like it was better now. I, I was more open to it now than before because back then I was really insecure. Mm-hmm. But now it's like, oh, okay, I, it's it's whatever now. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But I still wouldn't let that shit happen. Like if you're mine, you're mine, fam. Like so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts, facts. <laughs> nah, there's this. I forgot who it was. It's like somebody on a podcast. Like yeah. if I'm out on vacation and you cheat on me, that's fine. That's what he said. See, this guy said that. But but when I get home and you're still cheating, then it's a problem. See, nah, I, I, heard, <laughs> I heard that too. It was like it was like that thing. It was like oh, if it's out the country, you're allowed to do it. You're allowed to cheat if it's out out the country. Because you're not there? Because you're not there. You feel me? I don't know, man. It, that's just loyalty, though. Yeah, but the, yeah. Loyalty exactly. over everything. Loyalty is royalty. Over love, yeah. Exactly. Loyalty is royalty. Shout out yeah. Trippy Red. Facts, bro. Trippy Red said that? Yeah, Trippy Red. That's a Trippy Red <laughs> song, It kind of fell completely off. No. Man. Trippy like, Red did not fall but off. But he's super smart because he's the only one tapping into the newer artists. Like, Fago, everyone like that. You Trippy me? Red did not fall off. He, he's He's... For me, for me personally, he still makes the same music though. Yeah, but like it's a dookie now. <laughs> no, maybe because your music taste has changed. Yeah, That's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. He didn't fall off for for his fans. Facts, facts. You, you know, I played a uh, uh, the Dominic Fike song that I put you on, and then uh, the one I put you on, yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, "Yo, Gavin, you know this song?" I was like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> <laughs> and guess who I told it was, I, I put got put on by who? I knew it. <laughs> Oh, whatever. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I knew it since 2000. Blah, blah, blah. No. <laughs> you don't even know who Dominic Feek? <laughs> this guy doesn't even know who that is. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wait, that's the guy from Euphoria? I'm kidding. That ass. <laughs> no, that, that's one of my main actor goals now. Fuck it, man. To get on Euphoria. Okay, go. Do, do a scene right now. Ask for me. Go. Okay, you have, to, you have to bully me, though. I feel like I would perfectly be... Uh, uh, the person that they bully in Euphoria, cause I'm not, I don't look badass, right? <laughs> <laughs> so they gotta bully me. Alright, let's play a scene. Right, ready? Right, well, what's the situation? On. Come up with a situation then. Okay, so I, I um, I have some some money that you owe. Where the fuck is my money, bro? Wait, wait, tell wait. me where the fuck is my money. Wait, where's Maddie? I have to get. I have to talk to her. Are you fucking stupid, bro? I have to talk to her. Please, don't touch me, please. <laughs> <laughs> you came on mad aggressive. That's how you gotta be. Feel me, like. <laughs> so what? I just turned into. A, a I don't. Know, I don't know how I turned into top boy, but like I, I know what top boy. Uh, Maddie, please save me. <laughs> Maddie, <laughs> Maddie, please save me. <laughs> I feel like you can only play like a dark person, bro. A dark person? Like only like. I, do you think I can play a hero? I can probably play an anti-hero, like a Deadpool type of thing. A Deadpool? Mm. Actually, no. I can play. I can play a hero. Yeah, I feel like you can. I can play a hero Ooh, in no, the right but, context. Yeah, but I feel like you're just you're just born to play villains. <laughs> <laughs> like like in every ad we've done. No, look at like um Willem Dafoe. Like he, he Green Goblin. Green Goblin. He plays that role so well. Yeah. And I feel like he's great at playing villains specifically. Yeah. If you're born to play the villain, then you're born to play the villain. Who's another villain? Like even um Walking Phoenix. There you go. The Joker. Mm, yeah, the Joker is good too. But that you just have to be a crazy person to play it though. I feel like anyone could play the Joker. I feel like you could play the Joker if you if you tap into like some crazy like spiritual shit. Oh, you mean like go insane? Yeah, like literally just go insane. Mm, that's what they said that happened to Heath like Ledger. You'll, you'll be the first Asian Joker. Nah. <laughs> the Joker. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Asian Joker? Nah. I don't think we can do that. Come man. on, we have, we have that, to That's a little bit too far off the plot. Well, we- <laughs> That's a little bit too far off. The we, have, we have to break those stereotypes. They'd probably be in a Tagalog movie. I don't know about yeah. no. Oh, you know one of the b- biggest selling books is a Tagalog, like, 
do uh do Tagalog with me books for kids. Really? Yeah. Actually? Like on the bookstore, if you go in the library, it's one of like teach Tagalog with me. Really? Yes, fam. Well, I mean, it's in Canada. Yeah, yeah. In Cause, Canada. Because Philippines is the <laughs> most, is I think the most or second most um immigrants in the world. Mm, really? Yeah, Canada has the most yeah, Filipino we, immigrants. Yeah, we are, we are pretty, we roll deep here. Yeah, there's more Filipinos in Canada than Philippines than anywhere else in the world. Wow. Yeah, so it's Philippines and then Canada. Oh, that's crazy. I believe. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, hello fam gems. <laughs> yeah, no, but that's why there's such a big culture that here. Yeah. But even in, in the US is crazy too. Like we have hella Filipino fans in the US. See, I don't have a lot of cousins in the US. That's crazy. Really? Why not? I don't know. We just didn't immigrate there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, we just immigrated here, fam. I, I heard, you know, Sophia, yeah. she said she said she was gonna go to um, Australia. Oh no, I, I heard there's I didn't believe it at first. There's a lot. Because I thought Australia was predominantly white. Nah, there's a lot of Asian too. Really, bro. Because it's it's literally right under Asia. Really? It's literally under Asia, bro. Yeah, somebody, some of my friend was like, yo, all the baddies just stay, all the baddie Filipinos are all in Australia right Even now. Even the Austronesian people, they look like Asian. They look yeah. like, um, like Samoan, you know, yeah. Polynesian. Word. Yeah, it's all Pacific Islander. Holy smokes. Yeah, all Pacific Islander. Yeah. yeah that, that look at, look at like, uh, in New Zealand too, it's the same. Yeah. I think just the Aborigines. Yeah. Right? True. My, my friend told me this the dumbest shit. He was like, yo, you know the Australian accent? Mm -hmm. You know how they're like the down under? They're like the opposite of us. Yeah. So their accent is literally the inverted way of how we speak English. Word. <laughs> so you know how like uh, in your camera roll, you can do the inverted colors? Yeah. So if you invert our English, mm. that's how, the Aussie Aussie A. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's what it becomes. Yo, you know you know the, the actual origin of Australia though, right? What? No. Obviously, I wouldn't know that shit. Check this out, fam. What, what, what? So, long time ago, yeah, the UK, Great Britain, right? Mm -hmm. They took all of their criminals and dropped them off in Australia. Oh, so they were uh, straight menaces down there. Yeah. Holy. So smoke. the original bloodline of like first Australians. Yeah. Well, not the Aborigines, uh -huh. but at least like the settlers. Mm. They were criminals. Damn. Yeah. At one point. Yeah. So what they do? Like they just kept them all. In I don't. The I don't believe. I don't know if all of them. I'm not sure all of them because I don't want to generalize it. Yeah. But I do know they they took a lot of their their criminals and left them in Australia. Holy. So just yeah. Just, just dropped them off. To settle there. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Is that crazy? So that man. Do Do you know if Australians are really like aggressive? I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I've never been, and yeah. I haven't. What What if they just repopulated there, and all the the kids were just just straight up like criminals, fam? I don't think that's what it is now, fam. Like I love my Australians, you know yeah, what I mean? I love my Australians too. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Good day, mate. <laughs> Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. <laughs> no, but um, have you heard of Have you heard of the the Finland theory? The Finland theory? No. You never heard about the Finland theory? No, no, I haven't. No. What's the Finland theory? So there's a theory. Yeah. That the country Finland mm -hmm. is actually made up and man-made. Man-made. It's made up. Isn't everything like though like man-made though? No, listen, listen, listen. Okay, okay. So the whole island mass itself yeah. didn't exist. Oh, That's what people but, say. But how, how was that constructed? Constructed. So check this out. Okay. Right? So in really, really old maps, yeah. they found that there was no Finland. Like the, the island. Yeah. There's no Finland there. Okay. The theory goes uh. that China and Russia to fish there and get away with taxes, Yeah, they would have to have a country to fish from. But actually, it's just a big body of water. Really? Yeah. So, wait. So it's kind of like a loophole for them to get fish for very cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they just randomly started fishing at the island and they just called it Finland. Hold on, is it Finland? I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> Finland, bro. I just want to... Okay, make sure. Let me fact check this. <coughs> so check this out, check this out. Yeah. So right here, right here. Uh -huh. So that's the original map. So Sweden, Russia, right? Uh -huh. And this big body of water, right? Yeah. They're saying they just dropped Finland right there. <laughs> and then that's and why most of it is like lakes. And it just fit. Yeah, that's why most of it is lakes. No, don't kill me. We love our Finland people too, man. <laughs> the Finland. That's just a theory though. That's just a theory. <laughs> Who knows? What if it's real? Yeah, yeah. What's real? Cause, oh, yeah, true. Because you can make like your own country in a sense. Yeah. Could you? Yeah, a, a lot of people. I think the the funniest ones was um, 
I don't know if you noticed in the Google Maps, they play trolls mm -hmm. where it's like they would make the KFC logo in the Google Map. Like they would what put it mean? on the Google Map. Oh, country. like from Bird's Eye View. Yeah, from Bird's Eye View. So you would see a KFC land. So it would oh. just be random. So you can definitely can definitely make your own land. I think there's some, there's even some like Illuminati stuff. In oh, there yeah. Too. Like the, oh, the like Bird's Eye View. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where they would black out the countries. Not even that. What? So hold on. There's this. There's this place. Yeah. I think it's in the UK. But. So there's this place called Milton Keynes, right? Okay, yeah. I believe it's in the UK. Let me just make sure. Yeah, it's in, it's in the UK. Okay, bad, bad, bad. So there's a theory mm. that Milton Keynes was built by the Freemasons. The Freemasons and the Illuminati. How? So listen. So if you look at like a bird's eye view of yeah. Milton Keynes, the roads that are on yeah. and above and below it mm -hmm. are very suspicious. Why? So first of all, the actual sight of it yeah. looks like the eye of Horus. You know, the Egyptian, oh, the Egyptian yeah. eye. Yeah. 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 So the road that Milton Keynes is on is called Midsummer Boulevard. Shit. Right. Now the one above it yeah. is Portway Drive, I believe. Mm. And the one below it is Child's Way. Right yeah. now, what does that all mean? So, child sacrifice to open the portal, midsummer. What? Yeah. Whoa, that's <laughs> wild. Do you think they named that shit purposely? That's what they're saying. That's oh what they're saying. Goodness. That's what they're saying. It's 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 like a Illuminati building, yeah. like a Freemason building, and then all of these. Because if you can name street names, yeah, why not name it for your purpose? Feel me? That's true. Oh, if you're gonna name one, what would it be? If you had three three like working yeah and you had to direct people to go to gold <laughs> and you only have three street names i'll probably just name it after like stupid shit i like like really like toaster strudel freaking like geo dude nah, dude, <laughs> nah. I, I, would, I would give hints fam you have Na to name it like oh yellow that way or a or, or yellow way <laughs> okay if you could if you could name your country what would you name it oh probably did you know they were gonna name? They were gonna rename the Philippines. Did you what? know that? What they were gonna rename the Philippines Maharlika? Ew! You ew. hear about that? Maharlika? Yeah, they're gonna rename it that. Not gonna lie, Maharlika sounds sick though. I'm not gonna you lie. You said ill. No, no, your I, initial reaction is ill, no, no, so because, it's obviously not sick. No, no, because Maharlika was a uh, what do you call this? One of my the teams I played against when yeah. I was in basketball. But uh, no, nah, Maharlika is kind of a cool name. Because because if you, I think the the whole thinking around it was yeah. Philippines was named after King Philip of Spain. Oh, so yeah. it wasn't really true Philippines. It mm. was a Spain that actually named it. True. So there's people that do like the name change. There's people that yeah. don't want it because it's there's already an origin. To, yeah, to be honest, just keep there's too much history. There's, there's too, too much, much history. history. Yeah. Shit. If I wasn't going to name mine, it has to end with Onia. Onia. So why? Like Gavalonia. Gavalonia. Oh, that, would be, that would be fire. Gavalonia. That's kind of cool. Yeah, exactly. And all the rules you have to obey. What will be your flag? <laughs> oh, it will probably be... <laughs> I don't know. It will be like a screenshot of me like this. <laughs> you know what I do? You know what, what? I do? You know the, the AI art generator? Oh, what the... <laughs> I like take a picture of my belly button and then make it like an AI art generator. Okay, that would be fire. That would and then that fire. shit... Like, yo, that's an amazing flag. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's my belly button. But I do never tell anybody. That's so wait, so that's all AI. I thought that when you first showed me, you painted it. No, no, no. It's like an AI generated art oh. piece. So you, you put a picture, yeah. right? And then you give a description. Sometimes you don't even have to give a picture. You can yeah. just give a description of what you want and we'll paint it. That's like, and yo, every single one is one of one. Yo, never done before. NFT artist, that's the easiest way to generate people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can name it like, oh, um, fucking my ass. <laughs> but no one will know it's your yeah, ass. Yeah, no one's gonna know. No one's gonna know. Like it's thing, you know what I, mean? I think one of the fun. I was I was trying to prank everyone. Remember? Yeah, yeah. I tried to put like super sus pics, and then like, yo, you like this? You like this and painting? Then, and then everyone's like, oh, that's fire. So I was thinking, what if I get like my own art gallery? Oh, and then I put troll. all these sus pictures. Oh my god! But it's <laughs> yo, <can laughs> but it looks that? like fine art. Yo, can we? do looks that? Looks like fine art, and I dress up like a, a turtleneck and shit. Oh like, oh my god, that would be the most every time fire I'm like prank. super pretentious. Chase fam, and like, yo, do you like my art? Oh, I see and this then they sell it for like fifty thousand uh, dollars. See this over here? I spent uh, like a whopping twenty four hours on this straight, straight. But no people from the podcast are gonna know. That's the problem. Yeah, exactly. see, but you right. guys will know. But you guys are gonna come out. That'd be crazy. Yeah. That'd that'd be cra be that's like that's like um, Sweet Life on Deck. What you mean? Sweet Life on Deck. They did that in the episode. You forgot where oh, Zach painted shit. Oh no! 
I think I think London sneezed on a on oh, a canvas. Yes. No, I remember London sneezed. London on it. sneezed on our canvas and it sold. And then it went. Uh, I think they were trying hard to to make a good one. Yeah, yeah. But they couldn't make it. Mm. Oh, you you know Robin Banks from Toronto? Oh yeah, what happened? So it was so funny. This is yeah. definitely not true. What happened? But I forgot this news. This news station. Yeah. You know Banksy the. Oh, Banksy, the artist, yeah, yeah. The, like, anonymous artist. Oh, um... He, they say, they say, Robin Banks <laughs> is Banksy. Yeah. <laughs> the artist. Yeah. That's, that's stupid. That's stupid. But I don't yeah. think they knew who he was. That's there, there, there was another one where, um, did you see the Mona Lisa this, this week got, uh, caked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're saying that, they're like, oh, Banksy reveal? <laughs> no. I don't know. Why do people have like such fucking violent actions toward art? Like, I don't know. What's the point of going? I think on? it's because it's the rich. The rich own all the art. Oh, so they, they don't like it? Nah, because it's just all like a tax evasion. Mm, that's kind of weird, though. It's, it's all like, tax evasion, fam. Like, imagine going out your way to disguise yourself as a as an old lady, jumping up randomly, <laughs> and having. I don't know how they let a guy with a cake in there. Have you seen? Have you seen the banks? He sold his painting, and then it got chopped up in a. In a in a grinder? No, I didn't. It got see ripped that. up. So there were, there was an auction. Yeah. And there was this painting of Banksy's work. Oh my right? god. Right. And it was in like this frame, enclosed frame. Yeah. Right when it sold, I think it sold for something like enormous amount of millions. Yeah. Right when it sold, it got shredded. Shit. It got shredded. It like something happened. Trap door opens. Yeah. Shredded. True. But it's probably worth more now because that's a crazy like. Yeah. No, I think one of, one of the coolest ones, I think Jet reposted it too, but some guy in Toronto made a key. Did you see that? A key. So like he made a ring for his, yeah. for his brand and that ring opens, you know that um in the bus stops? Yeah, yeah. The little like where you put the advertisements. No way. And he put his own art. That's crazy. And you have to go around Toronto and look f and open it. That's and, mad creative. Holy shit. Uh, bro, I wish who, I did. Who is this? I don't know. But like to the guy who, if, if Jet watching that, put that down below and then we'll That's it. crazy. That's one of the craziest. Like, it's like a, literally like. Like a treasure hunt. Like a treasure hunt. That's dope. Yeah. Damn. I, I want to be like an anonymous artist too. That's what I'm saying. But I feel, I feel like if you're an anonymous artist, like yeah. there's really no point. Why? Because like. You're not making no money? No, not just that. Like yeah. what's the point at the end of the day? I feel yeah. like you want to be known. I sure. feel like you would want to be known if you're an artist. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I, I, the whole My whole life I wanted to be known as something. Mm -hmm. And then boom, I guess I guess I'm known as the co-host. You feel me? <laughs> no, but um, I had, a, I had a conversation with Sasha actually. Yeah. Because she... She has like a dilemma where she wants to be an artist, yeah. but she doesn't know if she wants to be known. Uh, see that? Do you think, but do you think it's possible in today's age to be discreet or be anonymous? No. I don't think that, it's that, possible. That, that, that's where everyone fails. But then you have mans like Marshmello. Yeah. Like a DJ that's like masked. No, but he's still known though as Marshmello. No, but... Oh, that's true. That's but, a good point. No, but it's no, not his, It's not yeah, like personal life. Exactly. If, if Sasha put a mask on, but she's still putting her out, out there... Yeah, that's better than not even putting your face out there. That'd be kind of crazy. Exactly. What kind of mask? Like just some ugly, it's the ugliest thing ever. What the fuck? Like the ugliest thing ever. <laughs> it's got to be like super, something super contemporary. Yeah. Like fucking put like band-aids on your eyes or something like that. Oh, like the band-aid artist? Yeah, the band-aid artist. <laughs> All right, we're, we're going off the plot. <laughs> <laughs> we're just chatting at this point. We're having a, we're having a conversation. <laughs> All right, we'll end it there. Thank yes, you, everyone, for sir. watching this episode of the Jumper Jump Podcast. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Make sure to check out my other podcast, CTM2. Ox Wars is out for pre-order if you haven't already. Yes, sir. And go yeah. listen to Apple, Spotify. Go give us that five-star rating. We love you guys. And, and join the Discord. Don't forget to join the Discord. Oh, Jumpers Club, too. Oh, yeah, and Jumpers, Jumpers Club. Club is out. Yes, sir. We're going to be playing Ox Wars there. Fact. So make sure you go check out Jumpers Club, too. All exclusive. All right, Jumpers Jump out. Deuces.